Hello and welcome back to Gate Show Crafts. I'm Sarah and once again I have a new design for you. Um, this is the third I guess in my autumnal series although I didn't originally envisage uh, these as a collection um, but they definitely all have kind of an autumn theme um, so I thought I'd release them all as uh, the fall colors are coming on here in Vermont and also um, the New York Sheep and Wool Festival is happening this weekend and I know many of you are going to be uh, attending that or um, you know, on looking virtually as I will be uh, and enjoying it that way. Um, so this uh, pattern is for a scarf. It's a very large scarf. Um, and the name of the pattern is Fiery Foliage. Um, I, again, I wanted to capture that autumnal feel and um, certainly with the color palette, um, it does that, but I also wanted that reflected in the name. Um, the yarn is from Neighborhood Fiber Company. Uh, out of Baltimore, and uh, Carita Collins, the um, owner and head dyer there, um, cr has created some lovely uh, gradient packs. Um, so this one is knit with her DK gradient pack in the colorway um, called Shades of Vermilion. Uh, vermilion is an orangey red, and so this certainly, again, reflects that and reflects the, the fiery foliage kind of vibe. Um, it goes from a very um, electric neon uh, yellow, um, but a very warm yellow, uh, through to sort of yellow speckled with orange, um, into some other variations of that, getting more and more orange here, um, into a color that I sort of jokingly refer to as pumpkin spice latte. You can see these kind of gingerbread uh, colors here kind of warm brownie orange, and then into some lovely deep, uh, deep saturated reds all the way around and into this lovely um, burgundy at the end. So really pretty um, palette and, you know, I like these, um, these kind of big shawls and wraps that have a lot of colors in them because the more colors you have in them, the more things you can wear it with as an accessory. Um, right, so I could wear this with a red, I could wear it with a neutral, I could wear it with an orange shirt. Hi, Gigi. Um, <laughs> sorry, a little shout out to Gigi Made It if uh, if, if she's watching. Um, <clears throat> but you could wear this with purple. You could wear it with any complementary color of any of these shades. So purples and blues would also work well with this. Um, any kind of neutral, like a beige or a brown, uh, even a dark green, right? Dark green works well with orange and with dark red as well. So I think there's a lot of options. And of course, um, if this isn't your palette, if you're not kind of a fall palette uh, wearer, um, Karita does make um, a number of other uh, beautiful gradients in that DK gradient pack. Um, the DK gradient pack is all you need, um, just one pack of that yarn. And um, you can make this shawl and it does use up the whole gradient pack. So um, I'm trying to balance um, Kind of an econ economy and an efficiency in choosing the yarns that I work with. I'm trying not to pick things that are, you know, the most expensive, the most luxurious um, out there. And I think Neighborhood Fiber Company uh, yarns are definitely a great value. Um, but uh, I also want to make sure that you're using up all of the yarn that you get. And so part of the way um, that you're going to uh, be able to fully use up that DK gradient pack is you get to make two pump pumps. Um, this scarf does come to a point at each end, and so um, to uh, enhance the design and also to keep the scarf in place, um, I added pom-poms for weight. And so this way you don't have to add, you know, a pin or a shawl cuff or anything like that. You could if you wanted something decorative, but this really does stay on nicely. Um, it doesn't kind of fall off or, uh, or, or slide off um, the shoulders once you have it in place. Um, so to make this, it's another sequence knit. Um, you're going to start at the lightest color again, and you do one texture that's uh, that's uh, closer, it's a little finer, um, and then I'll actually unwrap this so I can show you more clearly. As you knit along, that texture becomes broader and broader, and so you get uh, more of a diagonal, almost a diagonal ribbing. Um, as you go. So you can see that shifts gradually. And again, I just wanted to kind of evoke, you know, the dappled light through the different colors of the fall leaves. And I was trying to do that visually. 
The other great thing about this being a sequence knit, of course, is that it is reversible. I should say that not all sequences are fully reversible, but this one is. So it looks the same on the front and the back, which as I've said before, is great for people like me who have trouble getting dressed properly and looking put together and always end up having their thing on inside out if there's an inside out. Um, but with this, you don't have to worry about that. Um, I'll stand up so you can see it on me. I did um, have a chance to work with a model a couple of weeks ago and get some professional shots done. Well, she was a professional. I'm not a professional photographer, but we did the best we could. Um, so, but it is pretty generous. I believe it's about 90, I think it's 100 inches exactly from point to point. Um, so it's pretty large. It's not super wide, but it's wide enough to wear it as just a wrap. Um, it will cover cover the back so you can wear it like that with a dress or something or going out in the evening. And then of course you can wrap it around. You could just wrap it around like this. Let the pom-poms hang down in the back. Be fun. <laughs> Might be tempting for someone to come up behind you though, pull on a pom-pom, I don't know. Um, or you can kind of start at one end and then wrap it around this way once, or you can even go a couple of times and really get it all snuggly up around your neck. You could also, uh, you know, wear it up over your hair um, and your ears to give you more coverage um, and then tuck this down under your coat so it would be really nice and warm and snuggly. Um, this yarn uh, is a superwash base and um, but it's it's plied three or four times I think um, so it's very very soft but the extra plies also make it very sturdy um, so it will wear well and as I've uh, said before in my reviews of the neighborhood fiber company yarns um, you know the saturation on this is just unbelievable I don't think my little laptop camera can really do justice to this but the yarn kind of has this glow to it the way that uh, Karita does her dyeing. And it's just absolutely amazing. I haven't really seen anyone else in the field, in the yarn field, um, that's able to accomplish this with their dye technique. I've seen, you know, yarns that are kind of shiny because they have some mohair or some silk content in them. But I would say this is actually a different effect. It's more about the saturation on the color. So it almost looks like you're turning your um, monitor saturation up. Uh, when you when you see her dyes or when you see her yarns in person They're really beautiful um, so again, uh, this is called the um, fiery foliage Scarf um, it is the second in an intentional series that I'm doing uh, with neighborhood fiber company yarns The first was inner harbor earlier this year. That was another big wrap um, and I have ideas for two more and I hope that we can um, Bring those out over the winter. Um, I... So this is the second pattern in what I hope is going to be a series of patterns for Neighborhood Fiber Company um, with their yarns. It started with Inner Harbor, which another was another large wrap that I released um, earlier this year. And um, like that one, I was going to donate a part of the um, sales of this pattern uh, to a local charity. In this case, it's going to be Great Kids Farm in Baltimore. Um, they work with uh, children and farming and teach kids about, um, you know, local produce um, and farming uh, in their area. And so, I, you know, that's a cause that's close to my heart as someone who um, tries to grow her own vegetables and visit farmers markets. Uh, you know, that's really important, um, something to, to teach kids as well. So I hope you'll join me in supporting them either by making a direct donation yourself um, or by buying this pattern and then I will donate um, half of the proceeds to them as well. And that's going to be an, on an ongoing basis. It's not just going to be a one-time donation. So anytime you buy this pattern, you'll be um, helping to support Great Kids Farm. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you're enjoying your fall knitting experience, whether you have a lot of festivals to go to or local events, um, whether you're like me, you're watching online as um, some of these things take place and just enjoying other people's photos and experiences. Um, there are so many indie dyers and independent designers that are coming up with great uh, patterns and yarns um, to, to celebrate autumn and to celebrate um, the long dark days ahead. And so I hope you will just enjoy me 
uh, in enjoying that um, this time of year. It's, it's one of my favorites for sure. So I hope you can get out and enjoy uh, fall, whatever that means um, for your area um, and the cooler nights ahead and uh, take up a special knitting project and um, make something beautiful for yourself. Join me next time uh, for more craft talk. Um, hopefully we'll have some other topics coming up soon and looking forward to that.